Real estate development has the highest potential profit of any investing strategy, which is why it's become very popular for investors. But it's not without its challenges, and if you don't know what you're doing, it can be catastrophic. In this video, I'll break down the pros and cons of developing real estate. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to create a thousand millionaires through real estate investing. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. Let's start with the pros of development. Number one highest rates of return. I mentioned it in my intro, but real estate development in my experience generally has the highest rate of return of any investing strategy. Think about taking a raw piece of land and building a subdivision on it. What you could buy the land for is a fraction of the cost of what it would be worth once there was a subdivision sitting on it. And this is why there are a lot of wealthy developers out there. Number two, active income. One of the biggest advantages of developing real estate is the ability to generate active income. Most development projects require full-time attention and if you're managing a project on a full-time basis, you need to get paid. Development projects generally have larger budgets and allowances, so taking a full-time salary to manage a development project is not out of the ordinary. Number three, no tenants or rent control. If you plan to build and sell units, you don't ever have to deal with tenants. If you do plan to build and hold, you'll need to manage tenants or property managers, but in most cases, newly built properties don't fall under rent control guidelines. Number four, shorter timelines. If you plan to build and sell units and you can pick of a project that has the proper zoning, you can go straight to applying for a building permit. So your timelines are significantly reduced. Depending on the size and scope of your project, you could buy, build, and sell within a two-year time frame, which makes developing one of the fastest turnarounds for a return of capital. Number five, greater financing flexibility. There are a variety of financing options available to developers, including traditional bank financing, private investors, and my favorite, seller financing. While seller financing is not very common on a residential purchase, it's much more the norm with development. Number six, multiple exit options. Developing real estate provides multiple exit options. This means that you have the ability to sell the property, rent it out, or you can even exit the transaction after getting zoning approved. This flexibility allows you to make the best decision for your investment based on the market conditions and your personal goals. Before we get into the cons of developing, I want to let you know about my new development workshop. This is a full day online event which will teach you how to take a development project from conception all the way to completion. In this workshop, I'll teach you how to find the right kinds of development projects, how to quickly analyze a development deal, how to finance all aspects of your projects, and how to raise the money to do it. It's only $95 if you use the promo code YouTube100 for a limited time. Sign up using the link in the description below. Now to the cons of developing real estate. Number one, high risk. Real estate development projects can be impacted by a variety of factors, including market conditions, construction delays, and unexpected costs. This high level of risk can make developing real estate a challenging and unpredictable investment. Number two, larger capital requirements. Developing real estate requires a significant amount of capital upfront to cover costs such as land acquisition, construction, and financing. This higher capital requirement can be a barrier for many investors, especially those who are just starting out. Number three, it's not very liquid. An existing property that's already generating income could be sold at any point. And it may not be sold for a profit, but it's still relatively easy to sell. In comparison, it's very difficult to sell a development project that's partly completed. It's also difficult to recoup any cash in a development deal until the project is complete, which makes it illiquid. Number four, complex costing. Figuring out the cost of a development project can be complex and challenging to calculate. From construction costs to financing costs to predicting where the rental and resale market might be when you've completed the project can be tricky. This complexity can make it difficult for developers to accurately estimate their expenses and the revenue. Number five, there's no guaranteed approvals. The approval process for development can be lengthy and complex, and there is no guarantee that the project will get approved ever. This uncertainty can impact the success of a project and make it a very risky investment. And number six, delays. Delays can occur for a variety of reasons, such as unexpected weather conditions, construction issues, or regulatory challenges. These delays can impact the timeline of the project and can lead to unexpected costs and missed deadlines. So now that you're aware of the pros and the cons of real estate development, I'm curious if you think it's right for you. Give this video a like or a dislike depending on which way you're leaning. If you have questions for me around development or anything else real estate investing related, you can leave those in the comments section below. To register for one of my upcoming development workshops, check out the link in the description below. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.